welcome to the newspaper review on TAF TV. My name is Sophia John, your host for today. In case you're just joining us for the first time and you're wondering what we do on the newspaper review, it's a show where we get to look at news story, make on the front page of Nigerian newspaper. We talk about it, dissect it here. And of course, I won't be doing this alone. I'm joined by Mr. Bule. Mr. Bule, welcome. Thank you so much, Sophia. Such a delight to be here. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you again. The blue looks good on you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Once in a while, we want to fly the blue color. I'm not a uh, fan of Chelsea or Notting <laughs> Camel. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you that's my favorite color? Have I ever discussed that with no. you? No. Is it blue? Don't tell yes, me it's blue. It's blue. Interesting. Uh, that means you, you love the male colors. Uh, yeah, I, oh. I would think that uh, most girls would love pink and yellow and all those kind of flashy colors. Blue is also flashy, too. <laughs> is it? It's like, flashy. Well, this is one of my favorite shades of blue, though. So if you're out there, you want to buy me a gift, uh, you know the color now. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing I like about blue is so it's unique. Mm -hmm. Should I call it unique? There are different kinds of blue. There's yeah. this sky blue. Yeah. yeah. There's this uh, the and, bright blue. Any light shade of blue, blue is my thing. I, I I used to love navy blues, but yes, there's somehow also the navy I, blue I, moved, too. I realized that my skin texture will always make navy blue look dull on me. So okay. I prefer the lighter shades of blue. Yeah, I love blue a lot. But I don't wear it every time, but I love it. Wow. <laughs> I love blue too. <laughs> nice. All right, you two can also be a part of the show. Follow us on all our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, Tab TV NG. We are on Instagram, Tab TV underscore NG. We are also on TikTok, Tab TV underscore NG. Do well to connect and engage with us on all our social media platforms. Yeah. Without no further ado, we'd like to head over to our newspaper for the day. We'll be looking at this day newspaper. This day is leading Tinibu. We are set to change narratives surrounding Nigerians' economy. And that's on page four of the newspaper. 15 point agreement. NLC wants Minister of Labor excluded from today's meeting with FG. And you can read that up on page five of this day newspaper. And in River State, House of Assembly set ablaze over a large move to impeach governor fubara and that's on page 42 of the newspaper um uh, mr abule this is actually a shock yeah i think he's just six months in office and there are already some kind of rumors about his possible impeachment yeah very very surprising uh but then uh, living in nigeria for so long nothing surprises me again when it comes to politics okay. anything can happen Nigerian politicians have never ceased to, you know, amaze me. Uh, for once, I've always thought that, okay, let them disappoint me for once now. But they will never disappoint me. They will always come up uh, to the expectations of a lot of Nigerians as to the dramatic nature of politics in Nigeria. So uh, when we talk about, you know, the River State House of Assembly set ablaze, it won't be the first time that uh, that, that uh, such a hallowed, be, no, you know, facility has been attacked. They have even fought there before. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, uh, yeah, I remember sometime in Amici's government, yes. somebody was almost killed there yes. and all of that. And But this time around, it is alleged that there has, there, there has been an underground war going on between uh, the current governor of River State, uh, Sir Simina Laifubara, and uh, his godfather. We came, the, the Almighty, the, <laughs> the current FCT minister in person of uh, uh, Barrister, His Excellency Barrister ESOM, uh, we came. And uh, that story of the alleged war, I, we don't understand what is going on because those two people are like father and son. And for Christ's sake, we saw how we came before he left office single handedly held this young man because mm. before uh, the elections uh, uh, in, 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 um, in, in February, there was no Seminar Lai. Nobody knew him. I never knew about Seminar Lai. We only knew that there was one chief accountant working with uh, Wiki. And then he was handpicked by Wiki and asked every other party members to step down. We also know that the, uh, the campaigns of Governor Seminala Ifubara was fully sponsored by Governor Wiki. Mm. In other words, Wiki brought Seminala to power. And since six months, 
the state has been sort of quiet. Mm. If little projects here and there. The only major project that Rivers people have maybe witnessed the, the uh, um, starting of a project is the ring road, which of course has received a lot of commendation from Rivers people. They commended the governor for that, for the, you know, uh, starting, kicking off of that ring road. And we're hoping that a lot of good will come out of that project because it's going to link about uh, five local governments to uh, the state capital. And that project has been ongoing. But a lot of other things have been kind of on a very slow pace, which has raised a lot of concerns by Rivers people. Only for news making the rounds now is that uh, the governor has, the former governor, I uh, beg your pardon, has that impression of governor, yes, um, uh, former governor, yes, um, Wiki, has been, uh, you know, trying to take charge of state affairs while being a minister of the FCT. And because of some, you know, refusal from the governor, because we also know that the governor has also gone back to begin projects at the Songhai farm. If you know the story about the Songhai yes. farm, Governor Wike was never in support of that project. When he came on board, he tagged uh, that project uh, with a name called, uh, I think, uh, um, Governor Mechi started uh, it. Governor Mechi started yes, the governor project. It was, it was, the Songhai farm's project was one of those very, uh, laudable projects that came out of River State, and it was going to employ, if not more than 5,000 River indigents to that place. It's a huge farm that will supply plantains and bananas to the rest of the world from here. But that project never, okay, it, it started, but by the time Governor Wiki came on board, that project was ruled out, it was tagged the um, uh, monkey banana project, and it was even burnt down. Uh, the people from Ogoni burnt down parts of that farm. But we hear that the governor, the current governor, has gone back to, you know, reactivate or want to reconstruct that project. And I'm, I'm sure all of this is not going well with his godfather because uh, some of the projects that he left behind, yes, the current governor is going about trying to complete them, but they have not been completed even way beyond 100 days in office. And we know that the former governor of River State loves to attack his project with such speed. Like recently, uh, I saw pictures from the uh, completion of the uh, University of Port Harcourt arena, um, uh, convocation arena that the former governor started. And we know that that project was given um, 90 days to be completed. But of course, it spanned over those um, uh, periods until now that it's completed, but not commissioned by this current administration. So I don't know. We don't know the true story why there has suddenly become a rift to the level of the current governor being uh, of, of plans of impeaching the current governor that was, you know, uncovered by the governor. And then he had to go to the State House of Assembly. That happened this morning that the governor walked, left his office, you know, rushed by foot, walked, the videos are everywhere, walked to the House of Assembly uh, under very serious resistance by the Nigerian police where they fired tear gas and uh, water cannons at him and his, uh, and his uh, security details while they were working there. So it's very unfortunate that we're seeing this much drama again in River State. We thought that the former governor, yes, Wiki has gone to the FCT, there would be some relative calm in this state but unfortunately we are seeing drama coming up again it looks as though anything that is tied to governor wiki's name has a lot of uh, drama yes. following it. okay but, yeah that's going on at this time but uh, the governor of river state has also come out to make a statement that um, he will resist every attempt you know to, to impeach him or unjustly because he hasn't done anything to reverse people or to the states for him to warrant any impeachment. But one thing that concerns me, though, it is how politicians choose to destroy valuable government properties mm. to actualize their selfish gains. I mean, the uh, hallowed chamber of the State House of Assembly has been set ablaze. Everything in there gone up in flames. Why should politicians be doing this? We've seen this happen time and time again. Or must you make a statement by destroying taxpayers' money? That monies that were, you know, used to, this, to, to build these, uh, you know, properties and all these facilities, you come and destroy them in the name of trying to make a point. 
Oh, you want to remove your son from office. You are the one that put him there. If you cannot remove him, at least allow him to do his four years reign in peace, in his own way. Because I, it, I, I don't think it is possible that a minister or anybody else will be able to, you know, absolutely detect the happenings of a governor of a state completely for four years without having a clash with them because they will have their own personal project. They will want to have their own impress on the minds of the people of that state saying, okay, this is me while I was governor. It, let's go back a little in time. Remember Governor uh, um, Ambode? And, Lagos State. Yes, and his godfather, uh, the current <laughs> president. The godfather is everywhere. Yes, it, no, it is there in everywhere. It is there in everywhere. It is just more amplified in some areas. And we saw that in, 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 in the case of Ambode and uh, the then gov, um, uh, godfather, Tinubu, that had to remove him after the first tenor and replace him with uh, Samuel Lu, that is, of course, a very loyal uh, son to him these days. We see the way Samuel Lu goes all out for Tinubu as opposed to what Ambode used to do. Ambode wanted to work with the blueprint of Lagos State, but unfortunately, I, I don't think their working relations with, the, uh, with his godfather then was going smoothly and he was removed. But six months into, you know, governance in River State, is, I feel it is too early for all these moves by anybody whatsoever to say the governor is not performing, so let's impeach him. Or you're beginning to impeach, uh, they successfully impeached or removed, not impeached, removed uh, the, the minority leader who is, uh, you know, uh, a very important, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, aid to the governor. And that, that resulted to all of the drama we saw recently. But we don't need all of this. A few people have any personal issues, uh, father to son, I feel that can be sorted out. If he is going all out to remove Semina Laie Fubara from office the way he thinks he wants to do it, the seat of a governor is not the seat of a um, high school uh, course rep. <laughs> no, it's not. It is not. You, you, you don't. It is not a position where you put people and then tomorrow you say, you, it, it is not about you. It is not about Governor Wiki. It is not about. It is about the people of River State. So you cannot just jump up one day and say, okay. I put him there. I spent money to get him there. I will remove the him. Political instability. You know, it, it doesn't work like that. Okay, this actually makes us raise questions and mm. concern yeah. concerning the um, Opobo people mm. of River State. Um, I I actually saw different in different places. I read mm. when they were actually alleging. I'm talking about marginalization <laughs> in River's politics. Yeah. And then they saw similar years Fubara's emergence as mm. the governor of River State yeah. as a chance for other River State people to mm. to be represented in politics. Sure. And then we see this whole WK and Fubara's drama, and we wonder, we ask ourselves the question: What is really going on? Mm. Are other River State indigents marginalized? Because mm. during for the past um, for a series of up to 20, 16 years, mm. we have only been having the Ikwere Ikwere people yeah. emerged as mm. governor. Mm. I think it started from um, governor. If I'm not mistaken, it started from governor well, Odili yeah, down and, to governor Amechi, Amechi, then, down uh, to Wike. governor Wike. Mm. And this is the first time we are seeing another person mm. from another tribe. I remember one time not too long ago, I was asking myself, are they not other people in River State? You know, that, 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 is, that is another point that is on ground because the emergence of SIM actually tried to create a balance, even though the Ogodi people... <laughs> Okay, the people of River State will not agree to what I just said now because they will say they too have not been able to taste the seat of power like forever yes. and they should be given a chance and they, they are not a minority as they you know see themselves in the state but the River Rhine people have been there before even though they were kept out of governance for quite a while and now they are back in 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 position in the office of the seat of the governor but again while they are there I keep, I will repeat myself, six months is too short a time to say the governor is not performing. Do you say this as an insult to Hobo people? Well, I don't want to say it that way. Let it not, you know, create more tension in the polity because, but then again, it is an unfair move by anybody whatsoever mm. on the seat of that governor to say he should be impeached. Impeachment should not be the matter on ground at this time. It is too early. 
in my opinion, impeachment should not be the topic of conversation in River State government at this time. The man has not even had his chance to even breathe his own breath. Like, let him even run the government the way he, he sees it, the way he wants his team. Part of this whole fracas came as the result of the recent uh, commissioner's uh, uh, appointment that he did just yeah. last week, where a very young, uh, vibrant Rivers man, uh, son from Ogoni, uh, the, the commissioner for agriculture, that is just 30 years of age, was appointed and a lot of reverse people are commending the governor for looking the way of the youth and you could see that the youths came out in their numbers to say we are in support of the governor we don't care who is trying to come after him but they will not succeed and they were all over the streets resisting these men that are trying to you know come against the governor so yes this governor has not even started working we don't know what similar lie is project or what his dream for reverse people looks like so for me i see it as all shades of wrong to want to take him out of office and this impeachment matter that is on ground and i just hope that they will squash it and squash it really well the governor the former governor of river state yes omike has been fingered he has been pointed at he has been accused and we expect him to come out and uh, mm -hmm. you know tell us something different and say we expect a comment from i don't have anything to this matter it's not it's not about me my hand is not in this and those people that are making these moves shame on you i dare say it shame on them they should allow government to run mm. Mm, they should allow it to, to, yes, to run i mean should. i mean the young man he has not been in politics for so long but yet he's there he's just trying to you know balance himself into all of this and then we want to shake him to what end for christ's sake we don't need the instability in river state we don't, we don't need need, we've had years of many drama and we don't need that anymore we don't need instability in our <laughs> political scene just imagine the kind of um, insecurity and fears yeah and the effect to have on rivers businesses yeah all right we head over